Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a really simple recipe containing just three ingredients that will help you fight hair loss, thicken your hair, and essentially help when it comes to promoting new hair growth. So if you are interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching and I suggest you watch till the end of the video so you can see all the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now let's hop right into the video. Now I want to say a huge thank you if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. If you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. I make lots of DIY recipes for healthy hair growth and maintenance. So if this kind of content interests you, please don't forget to join us. Now the first ingredient you're going to need for today's recipe guys will be my all time favourite aloe vera i'm using fresh aloe vera leaves it's super easy to find it where i live but if you can't find this guys it's okay to check amazon or to just completely leave it out uh, or if you have any kind of aloe vera oil that would be absolutely fine to use um you know instead of this so aloe vera is super good for hair growth it helps to strengthen the hair and it controls uh, greasy hair it also helps with an itchy scalp it prevents um, uv damage to the hair it helps to promote healthy hair growth and also is a super amazing moisturizing agent so i wash my aloe vera and just cut it into cubes and then i'm just using a hand blender here just to give it a good blend until it's sort of nicely blended essentially now i'm going to transfer this into this little pot in which I will be um, making my oil. Um, so transfer it in there and then we're gonna go in with our next ingredient. Okay guys, so our next ingredient will be some organic spirulina powder. Now I know it is a mouthful to pronounce this, but trust me, this thing is super, super amazing for our hair. It's actually a superfood. And you can actually take this internally so you can actually eat it or add it into your diet to also reap benefits from this internally. Now add it to your hair growth oil or shampoos or conditioner can also um, have amazing benefits. It helps to promote hair growth, it treats hair loss, it also fights dandruff, it moisturizes and hydrates the scalp and it also soothes an itchy scalp so it's super amazing. Um, for hair so I also added about one um, handful of cloves and cloves are again super amazing when it comes to thickening the hair and also promoting new hair growth now I went in with some rapeseed oil you can also use coconut oil for this or um, any other oil that you may have available that's a bit more resistant to heat because of this process here so we're putting it on the stove and just allowing it to fry for just a little bit um, so you don't want to use things like olive oil because it's just not um, really resistant to heat. So um, coconut oil would be a good alternative or if you have any other oil that you know can resist heat, definitely use that instead. So you pop it on the stove and just go ahead and give it a nice stir in between. This should be done within five minutes really so it shouldn't take a long time you know it's ready when the aloe vera has literally like settled at the bottom and if you stop stirring you will see that the oil is literally at the top and that's how you know it's properly um it's ready essentially so all the water from the aloe vera would have evaporated now allow it to cool down and then we're going to go ahead and sieve it to, uh, to sieve it i'm using a recap but feel free to use any other thing that you may have available so i'm just transferring it onto this and then i'm just going to go ahead and just give it a gentle squeeze just to get the oil out essentially when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy so here you have it it is super simple really easy to make yet very very effective when it comes to um, preventing hair loss thickening the hair promoting healthy new high growth 
and also just giving you a healthy scalp guys scalp health is super super important when it comes to having healthy hair and also maintaining healthy hair now if you have a scalp that's too full of dandruff your hair is most likely going to fall out because hair can just stay on that kind in that kind of environment and also it's very difficult for new hair to grow on an unhealthy scalp so this thing is super amazing um so i just transferred to this mason jar and i'm going to allow this to store in a house for over three months really because it's ha it has little to no water in it so it can store for quite a long time um without any preservatives so in this next part of the video guys i'm going to show you how you can use it and also talk about how often you should be using it to see um results so i'll definitely suggest that you do stick around so this is what my hair is looking like um at the moment i did blow dry it and i think i shared it with you um in the video for this one um the process so essentially i just twisted my hair up um before going to bed and this is what it looks like essentially the next day so it has some really light curls in it and i just i just love it really so anyways so at this point my hair is nice and clean it's shiny and also my scalp is nice and clean so i will be using this just to oil my scalp essentially so go ahead and apply it to your scalp if you do have areas where you have you know are you experiencing uh, experiencing thinning or maybe you've lost hair from are you trying to regrow definitely go ahead and apply to that area um specifically but it's always better to apply to throughout the whole scalp anyway it's just like i said guys this has amazing um scalp health benefits that you don't want to miss out on so i'm just working it through my scalp here i'm gonna do it basically like everywhere including my edges as well and then after i finish doing that guys i'm gonna go ahead and massage my scalp now it's super super important that you massage as well um i always talk about scalp massages as a great way to improve blood flow to the scalp area and in turn help with new hair growth and also um thicker hair in general so it's super super amazing and you don't want to miss out on those benefits so definitely go ahead and massage your scalp as well um after applying this now you can also apply throughout the length of the hair if you want to um i didn't really do that in today's video because i didn't really see the need to apply it because when i did blow dry my hair guys i went in with one of my oils um on my scalp and also the rest of my hair so i didn't really feel the need to do it but yeah you can also apply it to the rest of your hair um so in case you're wondering how often you should be using this um it really just depends on what you're trying to achieve so definitely twice a week like i always say is such a good time or sort of good length of t amount of times to um, oil your scalp and also like i said if you do have you know uh, areas where you've lost hair and you're trying to regrow it's important that you are consistent with whatever routine that you're doing um because that will essentially be the only way that you will see results so um, twice a week is is a is a really good time, but again, you can use more if you want to. It just depends on how um, how much oil your scalp is able to retain or, or your scalp naturally produces. Because obviously, you don't want to over oil your scalp if that kind of makes sense. Now, you can also use this as a pre pre treatment, which is one you do before you shampoo your hair, um, which again will give you great benefits. Um, just like what I just mentioned earlier. So it doesn't necessarily have to be used only as a high growth oil, but also as a pre treatment if you want to. Or you can even use it in your DIY dip conditioners um, that you, you do yourself at home. So yeah, you can use it in so many different ways and still get um, amazing results. And also, just like I said before, guys, the spirulina especially is super, super amazing as well when um, included into the diet. So don't forget to also eat it, you know, um, because most of the things, I mean, when it comes to healthy high growth, it usually starts internally. So it's also about what you're eating, what your diet is like. So um, always think about that as well when you are, you know, on your high growth journey. Just to think about, you know, what you're ingesting or what you're putting into your body because that's what's also going to show on the outside. Um, so anyways, this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if it did please please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up 
and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already i would really appreciate it and also don't forget to share the video please share it with someone you believe could benefit from this and leave me a comment and i'll catch you next time bye